Hi, today in this second video of area, we will try and find the formula for the area of rectangle and also derive the formula for the area of square, right? So we have a grid where the grid is actually a set of tiny, tiny square where each tiny square is of the dimension one unit by one unit. This is one unit and here also it is one unit, right? So as we have learned in earlier video, the first video that area of this tiny square is one square unit. This is the area that this tiny square occupy on a flat surface is called one square unit, right? And now we will derive the formula for the area of rectangle and also derive the formula for the area of a square. So now let me first draw a rectangle over this grid. So here we have a rectangle. Now let me name this rectangle as A, B, C and D. These are the four vertices of the rectangle. Now let's see what can we tell about the length of this rectangle. The length of this rectangle is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units, right? The length of this rectangle, which is, that is the longest side of the rectangle is 6 units long. How can we say that? Because we have recently discussed that the dimension of the square, tiny square of the grid is 1 by 1. So since there are 6 tiny squares along with the length of this rectangle, so the length of the rectangle will be 6 units, right? Till here it is 6 units. Similarly, the width of the rectangle will be 1, 2, 3, Four. four units right now what about the area the area of any shape we measure in unit squares so it's very simple we have to calculate how many unit squares are there inside this rectangle so let me give them a color right so I've, I've colored all the tiny squares inside the rectangle and now let us number them and if we number them there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 6 squares in the length so along with the length we have 6 squares so total 6 squares along with the length along the length So along the length we have a row of six rectangles. So let's calculate how many such rows we actually have. This is one row, then we have this row, second row, and third row, and this is the fourth row. So we have total four rows of six squares, right? So total how many tiny squares are there? There are six squares along the length, and there are four such rows right now if we see carefully the six is nothing but the length of the rectangle and this four is nothing but the width of the rectangle right and how many total number of uh, tiny squares will be there they will be six multiplied by four so total number of squares will be six tiny squares along with the length and we have four such rows so six will be multiplied by four that is six fours are 24. So in this rectangle we have 24 unit squares. Unit squares are the squares whose dimensions are of one by one right which is actually length which is six unit over here multiplied by the width right so now we have the formula for the area of 
a rectangle which can be written as area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by width right so this is the derivation of the area of a rectangle right and what happens in the case of square in the case of square both length and width becomes same square is a rectangle in which the length and the breadth are same right so the area of square can very easily be derived from this formula area of a square will be if we call length as side width also will be side because in the case of a square the width and length both are same so the area of a square will be side multiplied by side right so this is the formula for the area of a square 